God, you made our big blue sky. You made the oceans deep and wide. God, you made the trees so tall. Your love is bigger than it all. God, you're bigger than me. God, you made our big blue sky. You made the oceans deep and wide. God, you made the trees so tall. And your love is bigger than it all. God, you're bigger than me. My name is Miss Amanda. I teach preschool Sunday school at St. Mark Lutheran Church in NT. Every weekday we get together, we sing a song, we read a story, and we say a prayer. If you have any specific prayer requests, please leave them on the website, stmarknt.org. There's a confidential form, and we'll be sure to pray for you. Um, this week we're focusing on miracles, and we're working on two of his miracles today. If you want to follow along in your Bible, that's Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 to 26. If you prefer, it's also in the two other Gospels as well. Um, grab your Bible, and then we'll read our story. One day, a man named Darius came to see Jesus. He cried, Jesus, please come heal my daughter. She is dying. If you would just touch my daughter, Jairus said, she would be healed. So Jesus and his disciples went with Jairus. A large crowd followed Jesus as he walked toward Jairus' house. Just then, a woman pushed through the crowd toward Jesus. She had been sick for 12 years. The doctors could not heal her. The woman believed that Jesus could heal her. She thought, I know if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. As the woman got closer to Jesus, she reached out and touched him. She was healed at that moment. Jesus stopped and turned around. Who touched me? Jesus asked. I felt power go out of me. The woman knelt before Jesus and said, I am the one who touched you. Jesus said, Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Finally, Jesus arrived at Jairus' house. The, pe the people said it was too late. His daughter had already died. Jesus said, Jairus, trust me, your daughter is not dead. She is sleeping. Jesus told everyone to leave the house. Then Jairus and his wife went with Jesus into the girl's bedroom. Jesus knelt down beside her and said, Wake up, my child. Right away, she opened her eyes and climbed out of bed. Darius and his wife were overcome with joy.
In our story today, we heard about two miracles that Jesus performed. One was when a woman went to Jesus and touched his cloak and she was healed after being sick for 12 years. The other was when Jesus went to someone and healed her as well. Now, Jesus does come to you. Jesus is there all the time with you. He's in your heart. But you can also go to him. You can ask him and seek him, and he promises that he'll be with you. So if there is something that's weighing on your mind or your heart that you want to speak to Jesus about, all you need to do is pray. We can do that now. If you could please bow your head, close your eyes, and fold your hands, and we'll pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for healing the sick and for making us well. Thank you for being with us at all times. Please be with those who are working in the healthcare profession. Please keep them safe and healthy. Lord, please let us know that even if things don't work out exactly how we would want them to, you are still with us. You love us so very much, and you are with us all the time. Please help us to share your love with those in our lives. Please help them to know that they are loved by you as well. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. See you tomorrow.